Kathy King from Paper Phenomenons Bad Tagalog. Now this was a kit club project. Um, I think it was last January. So January 2015 and I ended up finishing it finally 2016. So is life. <laughs> so this is Bag Tagalope and it features two Kaiser Craft lines. I think one was called Capture, which is this one. I have it in the description box below so you can read what paper lines there were. And I think the second one is Kaiser Craft Spotlight. There are two small collection packs, but boy, beautiful paper. So um, it features this camera and then the Spotlight one features like music and acting. It's just really cool, like a stage, theatrical stuff. I decided to add a little um, Brad and I made charms. I'm, I'm trying to get, get into learning how to make charms, so I made this little charm. It, it's, it is what it is. I think it's cute. You know, I'm not the big jewelry maker, but I'm having fun. And this is the back of the mini album. It's a nice, small, well-made, clean album. That's, I just like that it's, it's, it's not too big. Of course, I love, I love the big ones too, but this wasn't that long. to. to it didn't take that long to make. I think it took me a long time because matting the matting and the paper picking and then I decided to add these little prima flowers and then I decided to make charms for it yes <laughs> here is a little photo mat that that you stick right here in the front in this little open pocket this little interactive open pocket which I think visually it adds such nice it's just so nice with the album but then it also functions that's the great thing about Kathy right yes it is open it up and here's a pocket and then I did a little collage here and here's a little tag with a photo mat on it with a tag topper and I was just playing with the paper here and the colors see the colors this is almost like the like the other project that I have right like the graduation project with the orange and green I guess I was thinking about the University of Miami still this slides in just like so and here it came why it was called bag tagalope is that you use tags and and these bags as pages. So I kept it, I kept the um, album very close to the tutorial. That's what I mean to say. So you open this up, you pull the little bag out, there's a little tag, here's another little tag with an acetate um, card on it and turned it into a pocket. So it's like a little acetate pocket. This, that's the back of it sticks in like so and it closes up like so you can add photographs in this little pocket anything you want in there um, I didn't put anything in this pocket so you can open it up but I didn't add anything in it. I think I like these pockets more more decorative than functional that's just me if you want to put your photographs and line it go ahead <laughs> but I just I just like a, I just like the look of the pocket so I'm fine with it being a faux pocket right here uh, photo opportunity but this is a functioning one and a little journaling spot flip it over photo opportunity I left enough space here to, to tuck a photograph photo opportunity same thing I left space here right yes I did yes I did see didn't stick a photograph up underneath it so you know this kind of hangs into the photograph makes it look neat photo opportunity photo opportunity a little pocket here using a die cut piece like a little little tucked pocket Another little photo opportunity on the film strip die cut. Side loading pocket here. So, ah, let me leave it open. Side loading pocket here. Pull it out. I use a little film strip sticker and photo mats. And a photo mat. Uh, here is a little tag. Photo opportunity here. Acetate pocket. And I did a little collage here with some um, sentiment dies, die cut piece, a little flower. These are two little pockets and I think this is so cute from the lip of an envelope. See the, see the envelope lip here? That's, that's what makes it bad tagalope. Here is a little Polaroid um, chipboard piece, two of them. And I put a spot for photographs, a little sentiment die, flip those down and you open up the pocket and I can take this out. So see, without without this mat in there, with this photo mat, with the journaling card, you would have it like like that. 
and it just slides in like so. Cool, right? Because this, this is one of those policy envelopes that comes with a little window that would say to whoever and all that type of stuff. Um, same thing here with the chipboard photo Polaroid die cut piece. Oh my gosh, that was hard to say, wasn't it? <laughs> and here, you put two photos in here. And here's a little, um, ah, that's, that's a die cut. It looks like chipboard. Because what I did, I, I used pop dots to raise it up to the height of the chipboard pieces. That's what I did. So I added that little film reel in there. It says snapshots, the little film paper. So I found that the two paper lines actually worked well together. And the reason why, if you can see the brad ends here, I decided to add the charms after I made the album. It doesn't bother me because it blends right in with the paper anyway, right? Right here. I was playing with the acetate film strip paper, and this is also from Kaiser Craft. And in here, notice that I made little photo spots, put a photograph here, and then I can slide it in here. Yes, I was having that much fun with this project. Yeah, yeah, I know. But isn't that cute to put like photographs in here and then they look antique, like maybe a black and white photograph, a little, little cute little photograph. Pull these out, these little tags, photo opportunities, photo opportunities on the tags, add a little sentiment die, flip it over. So I had the pocket doing double duty. Here's another little um, tag with a journaling spot, photo spot, and this is not straight. Oh, that's driving me bonkers. Anyway, picture that that's straight. I can see it. And here is a little um, die cut piece on the back. You can add more photos if you want or if I want <laughs> be fab again enjoying the paper I love this paper so I left it this is a die cut piece that's an actual like, like the shape of a record so I, I thought it would be cool to use it as a closure so that's that's why it's there like that another record die cut piece and in this pocket you can stick more photo mats in there if you want. I didn't want it. I didn't want this project in particular to be too bulky. I was having too much fun playing playing with the paper and just and the sentiment dies. Um, here, I, this is a little pocket, and here's a large tag with photo opportunities, and this little piece folds down. Just love the paper, and I love how both paper lines from Casa Craft actually work well together. So it's like a combination of music photography, film, hey, why not? It's all entertainment, it's all artistic, it's all creative, right? Here's a little flat pocket, flips out like so, photo opportunities. Here, um, this is a sticker, and this is the film die, and I married them together. Aren't they happy, happy? With a paper behind it that says music, an opening, a concert, little tape cassettes. It's a, it's a fun paper line, and I think if you were interested in doing this, it's it could work for it, it could work masculine as as well. Why not? And if you have somebody who is a like a like one of your kids, if they're very creative, this would be a great line for them. If like they're involved in musical theater, or they're a photographer, or they love music. I think if you made a project using this paper line, they'd actually pay attention to it and like it, right? <laughs> I think so. Over here, here's another little acetate pocket. You pull out this whole assembly here, and I lined it with this musical paper, a little popcorn, had some fun with some sentiment dies. As you can see, I, I was, this is like sentiment dies and gold foil paper. Yes, happy, happy, love this paper. And I think this is that same um, spotlight. Folds down like so, tucks in there nicely, flip it over, this pocket also has it has a little pocket here with the large tag jumbo tag um, journaling spot fold it down journaling spot here is another pocket up top to put whatever you want I decided to leave this as a five five by seven oh this doesn't lift off normally I leave this oh it does lift I leave it I always leave it so I can stick the photograph in it you know what I mean like so see the see the contrast I love that and um, Added a little film strip sticker there. So this goes like so. This folds back down. So I added a little die there. 
butterfly dye. Here I just added an uh, acetate journal piece and a little die cut piece. Just punch a circle, adhere it here in the middle and it functions as a little, little spot to just tuck stuff in. Photograph, 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 photograph. Stick around the bottom, flip it over, last page. This is a pocket. You can tuck whatever you want in there. As you can see, it's an envelope, functioning envelope. I left the um, magnet. I don't mind seeing the magnet. It doesn't bother me. And this is another paper. This is one sheet of bow bunny paper. I just like, like the whole camera here. See, for the singer in your life. Wouldn't that be cute if your child was up on stage and you had two photographs or you're at a karaoke night? You put your photograph here with the mic. Do what you love and love what you do. Amen to that. Acetate pocket. Here again with another tag. Keep calm and play music. So I know when, when I got this kit, because it, it came as a kit, it was just a photography paper, but I love the spotlight paper. So I just put both of them together in my version of Bag Tagalog. Photo opportunity. All the world's a stage, and I play here again. I even popped this up, popped up this little die cut piece with the camera, and this little tag pulls out. See, film strip, acetate film strip, Kaiser Craft. Tucks right back in. Look at that. Looked like it was stuck there the entire time, doesn't it? Love it, love it, love it. Alrighty, well, uh, that's it for a bag tag alone. This is a short, quick video, but this was a fun project. Fun project. Just took me forever. Because, I don't know, I was also doing other projects at the same time. So I finally finished this one. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.